007. And the Caligula's Horse Show got postponed, too. What are we going to do with those tickets now? Oh. Got to sit on all these tickets. <laughs> uh, 35192 if you want to send a text to alancockshow.com for everything else. You can watch there. You can listen anywhere on the iHeartRadio app. If you do that, by the way, from out of state, tell me where you are and um, make sure that you're on the map. Joe listens in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, Kenny's out in Sherman Oaks, California. Nate is in Tacoma, Washington. Miles and Laura in Charleston, South Carolina. I can only assume that every one of these names I'm rattling off are uh, sheltering in place at home, or at least most of them. Bushman is out in Denver. Kristen is at Corpus Christi, Texas. I heard from Jacob, who is our bureau chief in Laguna Beach, out in California. Um, thanks for staying on the air, he says. I listened to a few Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me podcasts <laughs> from NPR. They played a game called Netflix and Bill. Maybe there's a copyright infringement claim in it for Squire. Ooh, I'm all about it. I get my brother, he's not doing anything. Yeah. He's a lawyer. He can, he can send a cease and desist. Very weird here in California. He said, I made it from Laguna to Fontana in about 40 minutes on Tuesday. It's normally about a 90-minute drive. But the beach cities are busier than ever with people trying to hang at the beaches. Oh, my God. Waiting Still? for the state to shut that down. Hope you guys are staying safe. Peace and love from California. Peace and love. So there's Jacob out there in Laguna Beach. You are so irresponsible. Well, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not the first person to make the joke or the reference, but I always do think of Murray Hamilton, who was the mayor of Amity in the movie Jaws, where there's a great white in the water, and he's out there still trying to keep <laughs> the beaches open. Beaches. Right. you got to shut down these beaches. Nobody wanted to listen. These beaches will stay open. <laughs> to Roy Scheider. Hey, Rick. Hey, Mr. Alicott. Rick, are you sheltering in place? Well, I'm wiping everything down. I'm not in the public all tough no right. At well, I'll, t- I'll tell you what, Rick, with the with the revolving door of ladies you had through there before, I assume you've been wiping everything down for a long time. No, I have a revolving door. You were on. <laughs> you were getting the jump on this. Uh, how is the uh, coronavirus affecting Rick's life? Rick's one sixteen in the blacklist. Well, I have played to play three boo. <laughs> And I wipe everything down. You know, I'm 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 surviving. Okay, you you didn't uh, hoard toilet paper, did you? No, I'm not greedy. I'm not selfish. I have enough for me to last. Yeah. And I know some places where I can still get it. Right. You know, some places you can still get some. Tell me off air. Now, Rick, am I am I correct? You're a retired. You were retired, yes. Yeah. So being at home a lot is nothing new for you. No. Yeah. No. It's still strange, though, isn't it? Well... Or does it not feel weird to you? No. Okay. Because I, I, I don't, you know, run like I sound like I'm like run, but I really don't. I don't like people coming in my house, you know, just... I'm with you. Hey, you and me both. You're right. Like I said, come over. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Bill? I'm doing great. Hey, Miss Mary. Hi. Miss Mary, when I said you were sick, I didn't mean you're fat. To us, black lingo, when we say you're thick, we say you're very shapely. Oh, well, thank you. I like the meme that's going around where Bernie Sanders is writing on a whiteboard and it says, stay home if you're sick, <laughs> come over here if you're thick. <laughs> yeah. <that>. yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Rick. I don't take that offense to that then. Yeah, I appreciate you. I'm like, ooh, did she think I was... No, when we say a woman's thick, we tell her she's shaped. I didn't know mm-hmm. he ever referred to you as thick. I didn't either. She prefers flatso, Rick, and if you're going to call her not. anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> thick is wonderful. Thank you. Well, you know Two what a flatso C's. is? Rick, do you know what a flatso is? A what? A flatso. It's when a girl is kind of heavier, but she doesn't really have any boobs. So she's... Oh, yeah, right. No, no, no breath. Yeah. That's right. Flat, oh, so. no behind either. Right. Well, yeah, well, she's a, she's like a little bottom heavy, but it doesn't. that's not reflected in the top. Well, mm-hmm. I'm going to get to Parkade. That's why I can't understand. I know it's a cartoon. Like Popeye and Bruto were created by Olive Oil. She was just straight up and down. <laughs> yeah, she I was know. straight up and not down for it. Popeye, though. She wanted nothing to do with Bluto. Straight up and down for Popeye. Yeah, but you know what yep. Popeye would do? What? 
Papa said what he mean to her. Well, blow me down, Alan. That's right. Papa, I got a brand new bag. Yeah, blow me down. <laughs> hey, Pound Cake. Yes, sir. Pound Cake. What you call it? A a boot a boot a bidet a whatever. What you call it? <laughs> Boudet. <laughs> a, a bidet, Rick. A bidet. Okay. Now, how do you, do you connect yourself, or do you have to have a plumber to uh, install? It? Depends on what kind you get. Some of them are like some houses have them installed. My ours was called a bio bidet, and we ordered it offline, and it just attaches to your toilet. You t- you get rid of your toilet seat, and you put the bidet there, and it has like a little uh. Hole where the hose come out, uh, hose comes out, and then right. the water sprays your little bee hole. Yeah, it's really easy to hook up. Okay, but, uh, so you can do it yourself. Yeah. Yes. Okay, just what I'm saying. That's the answer. If you don't have toilet paper, get one of those. That's right. That's mm-hmm. why people. Eat, that's why a lot of people with bidets are laughing at everybody else who's hoarding toilet paper. Rick, you still got to try right. off though. All right. Um, hey, you can use a, a dish towel for that, right? Right. <laughs> so, I suppose you can. You out. I hope it's, it's kind of warm water. It's not cold water. You can you can change the settings. Like mine, I set mine to turbo. So there was literally I had no ass hairs left at the end of it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so yeah, Burn turbo. Yeah, uh-huh. he's, he's prepping, prepping for Pride Week. Cold water. Uh huh. Do it be warm water, cold water. You can change the settings, but yeah, you can put it to warm if you want it warm. Okay. It depends on if you want a nice tight pucker, Rick. Then you'd want to make the water very very cold. They had sprinkler, oh. they had tsunami, they had like a bunch of different types of settings. Sure. Well, that's the answer to it. Are they expensive? Um, ours was, I believe, like, ooh, maybe like 300 bucks. At there are the cheaper most. ones than that. There's you can like get them, $40 ones, yeah, right? Yeah, you can get one for like 30 uh, or 40 bucks. Again, mine attached to the toilet, so I don't know what the going rate was. Ours was like a prototype, and then we had to order it online, and there was like a waiting period. So I Well, that's know. the answer. Everybody get one of those. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. you know, um, uh, Christmas is coming up, Rick. You'll know you'll know what to put on your list. Wash your hands and your ass. <laughs> <laughs> or get a squatty potty, too. Uh, okay, well, you answered all my questions. Well, great. Right? Yeah, we covered the bidets and the, and the thickness. Thickness. Hey, we'll see you later. Yeah, okay, thank you, Rick. Thank There's you. Rick sheltering yeah, in place. Probably sit around and cook some soups and... Eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Rick's I saw girlfriend. Her. I saw that going around. Really I'm crazy. telling you, you know, what. Fat, fat and sassy. sassy. I'm going to leave quarantine being 300 pounds. Like, I. Well, then why don't you work out? All I'm doing is eating. So work out. That's bad, or boy, because less. I'm telling you what, it's going to get to the point where everything is going to kind of slow down and kind of get back to some semblance of something we recognize, and you're going to be all chubby. Yeah, you're well, gonna, everybody... You're in the, the summertime! I, I, this is when you should be getting in shape mm-hmm. for summer. I know, but but everything's canceled anyways. Like, so, no, like, not, Pride is canceled, everything's canceled, like... I, you mean you only want to get in shape for gay events? Yes. Not yes. for it to be healthy 100%. or to look good? No. you got to look good. You're walking around in your body every day of your life. I can tuck in my fat. <laughs> nah, but, not as much as you think you can. You but, heard that guy that called on the After Hours line. He's like, what, they don't make shirts in your size? Yeah, um, I, I just. But think- also, it's like Larry David was saying on an episode of Curb, where he doesn't really care about the color of the car because once he's inside of it, he doesn't see it. So it's not that important. He, he doesn't care what his face looks like because he can't see his face. So that's how Pound Kick feels about his it's body. It's the worst analogy I've ever heard in my life. And I love Larry David. I don't care what color my car is because I'm in it and I can't see it. I can't see the hoodie. He's a guy walking around in hoodies in 90 degree weather. I feel like I'm in good company, though, because I put a poll on my Instagram, like, I think it was yesterday or Saturday, and I said, is everyone like either going to get secret fat or secret hot? And everyone said secret. It was like 90% secret fat. Right. So I understand what you're saying, it. except mm-hmm. that f- it's not secret fat. It's going to be fat. No, I'm saying it's going to be a secret, and then once, and then, once, once quarantine's every, over. Yeah, once quarantine's <laughs> over, everyone's going to go out oh. and go fit in clothes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I I'd rather be secret. I'd rather be secret hot. I'd rather be getting in well, shape. Everyone would rather be secret so do hot, it. but everyone do, is do it. All, all this but, time but people to kill. don't know how to do that. Yes, push ups, man. Push, that's what I was just about to say. You can do push ups and get some. Put and some tea. Everybody knows what you can do. Well, then why are you doing people it? People aren't yeah. doing it. Nah, man. People don't know. You we absolutely know what to do. This is stressful. Shut up. Oh, please. Stressful. Exercise. No. Yes. Laying around. No. Laying around and eating. Like, show. why am I depressed? Because you're laying on the couch, <laughs> you mook. That's no. why. Watching, eating taco I w- chips. And I want to relax. I gave myself last week. Relax from what? All we're doing now is relaxing. I want to relax and Especially calm my people. mind. 
and this pisses me off no end because if I were a single guy, <laughs> I would be working out all the time. You think mm-hmm. that? And you were a single guy at one point. Were you working out all the time? Yes. You weren't. Because I was skinny my whole life. I've never seen Jack Allen. Let me see those pictures. Hey, you're not going to believe this, Pound Cake. There was a time where people weren't constantly photographing themselves and posting them for other people a to see. A likely story. I, I got a receipt. I got a girl in Subway to come home and have sex with me one time after she made me a sandwich. Good because she you. goes, wow, like she's familiar with the show, and she goes, you're a lot bigger in person. I go, you goddamn right I am. Now make me that sandwich, and let's go. Show you my foot long after you sell me that one. Now, Mary, mm. stop. Sorry, six inch. She was a good, <laughs> she was a good Christian girl. She wasn't throwing rosaries willy nilly <laughs> over her shoulder. I'm sure a good Christian girl is what, exactly what happens when you go to Subway and she. Leaves you know, out. okay. Let me po- let me posit this to you then. Do you know how long they say it takes to develop a habit, good or bad? Uh, it was 30 days. I've heard 21 days. 21 okay. days, Let's say weeks. between two... Right, okay, whatever it is, right? Three Let, to four weeks. Let's say four weeks, okay? This is going to go on at least that long. Mm-hmm. Easily four weeks, okay? Uh, the shelter-in-place order in Ohio is in effect for three of those four weeks. And it's not like week four, they're going to be like, everything's cool! So... You could develop some really good habits. Yes, but I'm not. I, the thing is, I don't think I'm really good. I, I could work out, yes, but I don't think I'm going to eat healthy. Like, this is not. Why a not? Time. But, but this is a good time to put those habits in place, because, is what Alan said. Because I'm just like, I order out all the time. I'm like, then I'm, order healthy things. I was there like, I'm, are I'm healthy restaurants. Again, like, he, knows what like. he knows what he could do. We're mm-hmm. not giving him new information. You know what you could do. You're very clear that you don't want to do it. I, I want comfort. All food. I'm saying I don't is eat it, broccoli during comfort, the time. What? I don't want eating. Right, but that's going to only lead to more depression. So if you eat healthy and exercise, this time won't be as depressing. Talk to Bill. Yeah. When I stop interrupting Bill, listen to Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He's a guy. He's a he's a fat guy, and he got all skinny. <laughs> and then I got fat again. Well, but not as fat. Not as fat. That's right. <laughs> you didn't. Not, yeah, as fat. not as fat. Look at Bill and a couple of my wedding pictures. Mm-hmm. Whoa, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. And I forget, because I've seen him like this for so long. Mm-hmm. I go, wow, Bill was fat. And he got real skinny. And then, yeah, normally you're going to put a little bit on, but nowhere near where he was. Mm-hmm. So he's in a, I'm going to speak for him. He's in a good... You know what I mean? He developed a lot of good habits. And I've, I'm trying to get back to those habits, and that's what I told like my girlfriend this week. I'm like, let's eat real healthy this week. We've been very active with the puppy, so we're out there walking and running and playing with the puppy a lot. So my activity's high, and this weekend we didn't eat great, but we didn't eat... We didn't go off the rails. I'm just saying a lot of people... But a not, lot of people can do that. Not yours, Pound Cake. I'm, I'm just... I'm speaking partially out of jealousy, the fact that you're a single guy with no uh, responsibilities whatsoever. You could do whatever you wanted. But for a lot of people, their lives are pressure cookers right now. They got kids and spouses and everybody's locked in the house and whatever. And I think anything you can possibly do to not send your head into a darker place is a good thing to do, mm-hmm. right? I sent my girlfriend a schedule for this evening when we get home because she's not to clean your working house. right now. No, just the like <laughs> things that we're going to do when we get home so we don't just sit and watch TV the whole time. So we're gonna, we got a few different ideas of things to do to keep it from being just like a boring evening at there home. There you go. Different activities and, and things that are productive and things that are fun and things that will just uh, be good time together. Gwen yeah. and I have a schedule. 7.30, sex. 734. Sex again. Mm, not sex still. <laughs> <laughs> sex again. Yeah, well, it's a realistic schedule. Mary. Not with a toddler that you gotta chase around. Yeah, no, well, that's why come on. Like a four minute allotment. Yeah. For, well, no, that's my whole thing. Oh, but well, then yeah. I play it off yeah. like, oh, I got interrupted. Yeah. yeah, come on. See, I gave myself last week to be kind of a let's freak out about this and it's adjust and no, don't do anything. And then this week I got back to normalcy. So I went grocery shopping yesterday, which by the way, right now all the healthy food is what's out. There's so much produce. Like yeah. nobody's good. There's no run on green peppers. No. You know what I mean? Like, so you can still get all that really healthy stuff. The only chicken that was left was like two and a half pounds. And like, this is way too much. So I'm almost like forced into meal prepping where I'm like, I'm going to cook all this at cook once. And then, throw and then the freezer. exactly. Yeah. So now I have, you know, dinner today. I can do like tacos or put on salad or whatever. Now, and I have an idea. I think that pound cake might be using this as a smoke screen. And he actually is working out and eating healthy. And he is going to kind of put everybody else in the mindset that they need to get secret fat so that he can get secret hot. He's the only secret hot. So he has no competition. Oh, you guys got all fat. 
Now I'm hot. Take that. Wow. Is that it? With your eyes? Look at you. Totally. Okay. That's exactly <laughs> it. You know what? I'm just going to like put, put myself on a diet. What, and, what and, if we do this? Do we it. call it petty hot. Yes. Will that make you want to do Let's it more? Let's get petty hot. That's right. That's I'm, like revenge hot after a breakup. <laughs> put the, put like, the V in COVID-19 yeah. man, right down there. I'm, I'm going to do something on my Instagram. I'm just going to do like, I'm make cro- progress pics. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that starting. No. Start today. Nah, I'm starting today. today. I want, I want I'm to... working out tonight. It's my first workout. I got nah. I got plenty of DVDs if you need some. What nah. do you like? like don't even do, abs? Don't even oh, do it. No, I'm, you're, you're trying I'm, to trick people. So no, you got to no. you gotta pretend like... Oh, I'm just eating ice cream and but you I do want to eat this stuff. I want to eat this stuff. You you tell people you are, but then you eat healthy, and then you don't let anybody really see you until what this if, is all over, and you drop cream? 15 pounds, and you're looking good. But if, but if, what if, what and this is, an, by the way, this is an awful time. I ordered a shamrock shake last night. <laughs> this, this is an awful time for this country to be hit with something like this because they say all the time being fat or obese is awful for your immune system. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. Being fat health wise is like worse than smoking or having, you know, any number of, of maladies. And there's a lot of fat people. So yeah. it's not like people go, oh, I'm fine. I've never had uh, lung cancer. My immune system isn't uh, compromised by something else I had. Like a lot of fat people. Yeah. Yeah. So just don't, I mean, you can do at home stuff. That's what we said. Do lunges, do squats, do anything. Push ups. You can still go outside and go for a walk. You can go outside and go for a walk. Do that. That's the, whenever Do push-ups people, outside. Whenever people ask me how to lose weight, I just say start with walking. Walking is such an easy thing to do. It brings you like peace of mind. It, it's just You and your ex enjoyable. used to walk all the time, and you yeah. guys wrapped a ton of weight. Yeah, and I've been walking a lot lately. Pound cake, here's what Get you do. Get those 10,000 steps. It makes a difference. There's nothing wrong with compromise. Sip your shamrock shake as you're doing squats. There you go. <laughs> right? I L- can definitely do, do that. L- do lunges across the living room while you're sipping the shamrock yeah. shake. Also, I, you're body and like your metabolism is a type that if you start doing something you're gonna get results quick because you already look like you have like arm muscles and my chest broad muscles. shoulders yeah i know so why not take advantage of it advantage. <laughs> helps take advantage, take advantage of them take advantage of them i watch it too much before the 90 days there's a guy from amsterdam <laughs> like so go ahead and uh, yeah just lift some weights or just do some body weight exercise and you'll look good i'm gonna really try i'm gonna try but i'm really got hungry. some breaking news too uh-oh wait hold on Ellen Keck Show exclusive news update. Sonic Temple is officially canceled this year. Ellen <laughs> Keck Show exclusive news update. Oh my goodness! Who would have thought? There you go. Full refunds will be available to everybody who has purchased passes for Sonic Temple. That was Mayor Talica's big break. <laughs> Well, Mayor Talca could probably still play because I don't think they will be uh, all that constrained by the gatherings, the mass gathering yeah. restrictions. You don't know what our fan base is. I'm saying that people will come and see you ten people at a time because they're they're that popular. Well, there's there's 23 people in the band, <laughs> so <laughs> there's also oh, it's like the polyphonic spree, more yeah. like it. Yeah, okay. Can you have some of them like Skype in. Oh, maybe. We do have the guy in the background who just goes, eh. so maybe he's not essential. You need a guy for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds like there's 22 other people that could probably do that. Somebody could. Mm-hmm. You might. That's called. Then you're um, asking a lot, man. You division know? of labor, man. I, I mean, know. you got to figure that out. I'm just saying. Um, so you can get refunds. They will also let you apply your tickets to next year. And it's never a bad lineup. So, uh, you know, if that was something you wanted to do, you can. Uh, you'll have to. They're going to email all this information to people who bought tickets. Uh, but that's the uh, the details. There can't, this company, our buddy Gary Spivak is part of this company that puts on a, a number of festivals around the country, and they have canceled all of them. That's Epicenter, that's Welcome to Rockville, which I think happens in Louisville, and Sonic Temple, which happens um, in Columbus. So that's that. Uh, let me break. I'm going to pull some calls off of the uh, After Hours line. You can call that anytime if you're not able to listen to the show live. 216-986-8903. You can send me a text, uh, 35192, and you can uh, check out alancockshow.com. The Alan Cox Show, 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeart.